Wow, 132 comments. I might as well go ahead and just make this video for you guys and address what's going on here. EPA comment right here. EPA. I lost all my diesel parts in a boating accident. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Earl's not here. It's the parts didn't come from China. Diesel lives matter. LOL. I will not comply. It's the EPA. Get off my lawn. What did Earl do now? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. A couple of police officers showed up at the house. They had some questions. I guess I'm under some sort of heat with them for buying some parts for my diesel trucks. So, uh, long story. So, I'm going to explain that here in this video. I actually blurred out some of their faces just to protect their identity. And also, I just want to say that I do respect the police, uh, law enforcement, a, uh, special agents, things like that. I respect what they do, especially during these times. We will be getting into that explanation here in this video, so make sure you watch the video from start to finish because it may actually help you. I don't know if maybe you have the same hobby I do with, you know, diesel trucks, doing cool stuff like that. So, um, I don't know, maybe we might be able to learn something. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of this thing right here, I want you guys to watch the beginning of this video because Earl's on the channel just as a funny joke, so chill out. If you don't have a sense of humor, go ahead and don't watch the video at all, just turn it off. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, all right. I don't know if this will work anymore. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Trying to get this stuff done for all these customers. They want to go fast. Got my oil filters in. This right here is pure flotration and it'll give you more horses. So uh, we're going to install that right here in this truck. Oh. Oh man, my phone's ringing again. Everybody wants me to make their truck go fast. Truck master diesel performance, we don't tune. This is Earl, how can I help you? 850 horsepower? I think I can do something for you. Man, I gotta tell Earl. Is everything okay? But we don't tune, man. That, that's one thing we don't do. All right. Earl. Hey, man. What, man? I'm on the phone. Hey, police are here for you. Oh. The what? Are, the what's here? Oh, man, I gotta go. Earl, where are you going? No, nah, man, I can't stick around for this one. No, you're on your own. Okay, so you're not here? <sighs> All right, I'll go tell him. Oh, man. Oh. So I'm gonna let you guys know right now, Homeland Security and a state police officer came to my house today and they had some questions. So first of all, I have nothing to hide whatsoever on this one right here, so this is good. And I'm 100% sure that they are watching this video because I know I have a YouTube channel and that's fine. So I figured I'd explain this to you guys because I would hate to see you guys end up in this same position. I ordered some uh, sites for a super soaker and a few other miscellaneous items uh, for that. And I ordered a ton of diesel filters. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched that YouTube video. If you haven't, make sure you guys check it out. A couple videos before this one right here. Much what happened is the wife and I, we installed brand new filters on our fast lift pump on the LBZ Duramax. And I ordered a ton of filters because I wanted to show you guys some of the differences. You know, Donaldson, good brand. And of course, Caterpillar ordered a bunch of filters. So, and I have a lot of them in the garage. I ordered a lot of filters because, you know, even off camera, I do a lot of maintenance on other people's vehicles. If they want to drop it off, I'll fix them for them, stuff like that. So I ordered a lot of diesel parts. So I don't really have to post this video, but since it's truck related and it's sort of a heads up, especially for some of you DIYers that order parts uh, in your garage. So this is what happened. The police knocked on the door, immediately greeted by a special agent from Homeland Security, all the way from Detroit, believe it or not. He gave me his business card and that was pretty interesting. They drove all the way up here. He had this gigantic clipboard. This thing was huge. This clipboard had a bunch of papers in it. So I had no idea what was going on. I figured he was gonna knock on the door and ask me who does burnouts on this road or maybe there was a crime that may have happened in this area he's just questioning neighbors something like that i had no idea that it was for me exactly so he whipped out the clipboard and he basically said so 
there's been a lot of AliExpress, eBay packages being dropped off here at this house. And then he was going on to say that I ordered a bunch of suppressors for a, uh, I don't know how to say this without the YouTube video going down, but for a, we'll just say a super soaker. Yeah. He really didn't want an explanation. He just wanted me to give them back to them. And I don't really know exactly what that means, but there's nothing for me to give back to them because it was something that I never purchased. I never pur purchased a suppressor. For, I know what I know exactly what a suppressor is. So at this point, I'm a little confused. So I told the officer, look, I've never ordered a suppressor on the internet, on eBay, anywhere. I've never ordered that whatsoever. So he pulled out his clipboard and he showed me a, a record of things that I've purchased on the internet. And one being, I think there was three or four different items of diesel filters. And, and I saw that and I was like, oh, okay. So I'll, you know, I'm in my front yard now. I'm standing in my garage right now. And I told the police officers, I said, hey, do you have a minute? Do you mind? I'll get my shoes on. We'll go around the corner and I'll show you pretty much what I do, you know, for a hobby. And they're like, yeah, sure. So I put my shoes on, I went outside. They came in the garage. I have two diesel trucks in here. And of course I have parts all over the place. I have parts, you know, on the ground. I have on my shelf back here for stock. I have a bunch of parts in my garage. That's what I do, you know, it's my thing. It's actually part of what I do for a living as well. And it's a hobby. So I, right when they walked in, they immediately noticed, oh, okay, all right, this guy may be legit. They were looking at the trucks. They, they thought they were pretty cool. And I was explaining, you know, what I do. And I also went on to explain that I retired from the United States Army a couple years ago. He asked me what I did in the military. I said I was a truck driver and I served in an infantry battalion. That was my last assignment at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. So then the officer was like, well, of course, you probably know a whole lot about weapons. And I'm like, absolutely, duh, you know. <laughs> it was actually kind of silly because he was looking at the filters. I, I walked in the garage and I showed him the filters that I ordered ordered and uh in the video guys i'm sure you guys remember this this thing right here is cut open and if you slide it op up of course it's just a filter and we talked about the inside of a cat filter the differences between that and of course you know a fast filter where they have like a metal tube in there and it may release metal contaminants into your fuel injection and that's why it's better to go with cat and that's pretty much the gist of that but it did look a little suspect that i had a filter that was open like that so i did a bunch of research when they left and apparently this is a very recent thing that's going on and i didn't know about this but people are modifying oil filters on the ends of their weapons in order to silence them so they're essentially making oil filters silencers um i guess there's a big sting right now going on and i guess i hit that list but this is where it gets very interesting and i started kind of thinking about why would they come to my house i live in the middle of nowhere and they want to question me about what I buy on the internet. Uh, first off, I have nothing to hide on that because I've never done that before. But it's, and not only that, it's actually legal to own a silencer if you do it correctly. But people aren't. I guess apparently they're buying these things uh, you know, on the market and uh, they're listing them as oil filters. Some of that's being disguised. So I did a whole bunch of research. And actually, this is going on in the state of Michigan. Had no clue whatsoever. So I guess I was on their hit list and they had to go out and investigate. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm still under questioning because I didn't really feel a good sense of um, this is closed or anything like that. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen after that. Uh, if you're in law enforcement, let me know in the comments. Hear me out, this is really crazy because about three weeks ago, I was on, I think it was Facebook or Instagram, I can't remember, but I actually saw an ad online about suppressors. Okay, here, this is crazy. And I was like, that's interesting, huh? You can buy them on the internet. So I went on eBay and I looked it up. They sell them for like 30 bucks. And then I'm thinking, okay, hang on. That, that's, that's gotta be a waste of money. You know, that, that probably doesn't work. Not only that, it's probably a huge safety issue too. You're buying a cheap, something cheap for your weapon and you know, thing explodes on the end of the barrel. $30, you can actually pick one of these things up. Hmm, interesting. So I went on YouTube because I'm curious to see if they even do anything, if they're even quiet, which I doubt. So watched a couple videos. My suspicion was 100% correct. They do nothing. They don't quiet your weapon down one bit. So that was sort of my little research on the internet that I found, but that was like three weeks ago. And then I go online and I buy some of these things right here and I buy a bunch of these. They're tracking literally everything that you're buying on the internet and they're tracking what you're watching on the internet uh, via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I came to the conclusion that it's gotta be some sort of computer that finds this data from individuals and you get flagged and then that's that's what i'm thinking i don't know 100 percent sure but that's what i'm thinking it only makes sense there's no way that you can completely check every single person and what they buy and what they purchase but this is a heads up to you guys seriously heads up these are hot right now if you i don't know about these but a 
apparently buying oil filters, fuel filters, uh, maybe don't purchase them off eBay. I mean, or bu buy them overseas from China. Maybe that's another one right there. Yeah, we were kind of talking about my diesel trucks here in the garage. You know, I have my LB7 Duramax. Of course, this thing's going to be pretty modified when I'm done with it. I'm hoping to get one day 800 horsepower out of this bad boy. We'll see. But he, uh, as they were leaving, the state police officer sort of joked in a way, walked away and said, well, you know, next time the EPA's out, that was mentioned in our conversation for some of you guys that are watching my community page on youtube i don't know if you know if that's a thing or not i didn't really know either but i can post pictures and stuff like that you guys can comment on them things like that but but i did post a picture on that community page and i said i'm sort of under investigation i didn't know exactly what kind of angle i wanted to approach this one posting it on the internet especially on my channel because these guys already know i have a youtube channel so they're watching me it wasn't a video that i really wanted to post and air out some of my laundry what kind of what's going on in my personal life but i figured since it's truck related and it's something that if you guys are actually purchasing things on the internet like me constantly you know for stuff like this you know working on trucks stuff like that it may be worth your time you just be careful is kind of where i'm getting at now i know we're living in some crazy times right now i i, I respect the police so in conclusion i ordered a bunch of parts for my super soaker and i also ordered a bunch of filters and of course you can either modify filters to make suppressors or silencers for your weapon which is illegal or it's titled in a description saying that they're oil filters or fuel filters when they're actually silencers or suppressors so in my opinion that's what triggered them to come and see me so they can actually do an investigation and figure out what's going on but if you're that guy just don't put two and two together. So if you're gonna order stuff like that, just order it directly from their website. Don't order it from a third party or eBay or Amazon, um, AliExpress, all those you know China websites or whatever the case is. Just don't order that stuff from there. Um, everything else is fine, but I would just be careful. I'm just looking out for you guys, seriously, I, I promise. I hope this helped. Yes, that is my story. I figured I'd fill you in, it's kinda long, so that's why I would rather do, make a YouTube video about it instead of explaining to you guys in the comments what's actually going on. I am not 100% sure if this is completely over with. I wasn't really told that, they just pretty much left, I don't know. I will definitely keep you guys informed if something does come about, if they come back up here. Hey, before I end this video right now, I do appreciate all the support with the intro for the turbo giveaway for every one item purchased on the website will get you one entry in to win any turbo off the Ryan's diesel service Dot com website so if you have a duramax power stroke or coming for some of you guys that have not put your name in the hat yet i'll leave that link in the description and we have one week left for that that is it for this video today continue to follow the wife max or red as well as victory max we got a lot of projects going on and if you guys enjoyed the content make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you guys cannot miss an episode and thank you so much for following my endeavor on all these builds you guys are outstanding we'll see you on the next video stay tuned